You can tell by the way I walk that I got em. Cannabis has been a big part of our popular culture for some time now. Smoke the weed every day. Don't smoke the seeds. No way. Smoke this recreational use has been normalized by mainstream media. On the 31st of March, the Western Cape High Court ruled that everyone can smoke cannabis within the comfort of their own home. But how do these laws apply to the average donor? <laughs> Um, well, my understanding is that the judgment basically, in a nutshell, held that while the laws are still going to be in force, and I think it's Section 4 and Section 5 of the Drugs and Drug Trafficking Act, uh, are still going to be in force, what's happening is that there's a, const um, a suspension on the constitutional invalidity. In effect, what this means is that there's going to be a 24-month period before they are completely unconstitutional, in which case the 24 months is for the legislature to fix it up. Um, but as of now, my understanding is that if you are arrested, as per the judgment, you can use some of the circumstances that they describe in the judgment as a possible defense. What are the potential outcomes of this ruling? And what do people want? legalized rather than companies you know taking over monopolizing everything is for it to be in support of small business um you know anyone can get a license to grow and sell and you know anyone can get a license to process the stuff um for med medicinal use as well as um eventually for recreational use so um but i, I i'm a bit of a pessimist so i do think I do think corporations are going to take over very quickly. The, um, the Dutch have been battling with decriminalisation for 40 odd years and they never got it right because it stops people from going to jail but, and you're allowed to have it on your person, but where did you get it from? It doesn't, it doesn't stop any black market in any form. We're fighting for the re-legalization of the plant. People are convinced that this was banned since biblical times or something, and God made a mistake because it was only banned 100 years ago out of 6,000 years of use. So we are going for full market economy, regalization with regulation. It's not just a free-for-all because now it is a free-for-all. <laughs> Laws only impact people's lives if they're enforced. And I kind of feel like w with weed, we could just pretend the law doesn't exist in a weird way. If you legalize it and you regulate it and people need permits and all the rest of it, then it almost gives the cops an excuse to clamp down harder. You know, if we go into the rural areas and we talk to farmers there, they're not sure whether they think we're doing the right thing or not because they see legal weed as being less of a price. They're right, it, the price will drop, but the way we counter it is saying, you know, at the moment they're stuck on the side of a hill under the trees growing clandestinely uh, with little water and they can't dry it properly. It's all under tarps and they succumb to the elements all the time. And we say, well, when it's legal, then you can go down to the floodplain and you can grow loads and loads of it. I, I think that this, this judgment is, uh as, as a lot of the media outlets have been saying, quite a landmark judgment. I think it does a lot for um, where the world is heading and what is more sensible and what is, quite frankly, more logical and what is more moral and justifiable. And all you've got to do is call all the dealers shopkeepers and the whole thing becomes legal. There's a billion-dollar industry out there that's already being an industry in prohibition. It's clear the cannabis isn't interesting two years ahead of it. The outcome right now is unclear. We're just going to have to wait for the legislature to work itself out. <laughs>